Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this in this effortless New Year's Eve glam transformation. We'll keep the base makeup super clean and the eyes smoky with a little bit of sparkle for the night. So if you're ready, let's begin! For skin prep, I'm going to start with the Indeed Labs Hydroluron Moisture Jelly. This is a moisturizer and I'm going to be applying a generous amount all over my face and neck. This gel feels cooling on the skin. It feels silky and absorbs beautifully. I usually give a minute or two between products. So I'm going to wait till this is completely seeped inside the skin before I use anything else over it. And to prep my lips, I'm going to be using the Hydroluron Tinted Lip Treatment in Red. For around the eyes, I'm going to be using the Silk Peony by Tatcha. This is a melting eye cream. This is going to remove the dryness and soothe the skin around your eyes. So when you apply your foundation or concealer, it's not going to settle in fine lines or cake up because of the dryness. To prime my skin, I'm going to be using this brand new product by Benefit Cosmetics. This is the Professional Light Primer. This is a water-based pore primer. This helps to fill in those fine lines and blur and refine the look of pores on your skin while ensuring a long-lasting, even makeup application. This is made from 73% water. It's ultra lightweight and extremely gentle on the skin. Using a light peach corrector from the Coastal Sense Concealed Palette, I'm going to neutralize in areas where I have uneven skin tone, including my dark circles around my mouth and in areas where I have dark spots and patches. The peach is going to combine with the blue undertones of your uneven skin tone and neutralize it to bring it down to your skin tone. And once we even out the skin, that'll give us a clean canvas for the foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation with Silk Peptides and I'm in the shade 6. This is a matte foundation and although I have dry skin, I still use this because it's got that silky demi-matte finish and I love that kind of glow on my skin. You can either apply this on your face with a brush or a sponge and then spot apply to areas where you need more coverage. Today I'm going to be using a damp sponge to apply the foundation. Usually when I have color corrector underneath, I tend to use a sponge because we are pressing the foundation in with a sponge as opposed to a brush where sometimes the bristles can pull the products from underneath and mix it with the foundation. And to avoid that, I'm using a sponge. For a subtle contour, I'm going to be cream contouring using a deeper shade of concealer by Colourpop in the shade 200N. And I'm mostly going to be using this around the circumference of my face, in the hollows of my cheekbones, in my jawline, as well as to contour my nose. And to blend it out, I'm using a flat top kabuki brush. This one's from Doe Color. You can also use powder contour if you prefer, but cream contours are more subtle and more forgiving because they blend in with your foundation and you set everything with a setting powder, so everything looks seamless. But sometimes with powder contour, because you're using it over your setting powder, if not blended well, it can look harsh. Next, I'm going to be using a concealer that's a true match to my skin tone, which is Milani Concealer in the shade 145. I'm going to be using this to conceal some of those dark circles that are still visible and also those patches around my mouth. Although color correctors can neutralize everything and bring everything to one skin tone, sometimes they don't have enough coverage and for that you will need a concealer. And when you use a concealer to conceal, try to use something that's a true match to your skin tone. That way it doesn't mix with the undertones and give you an ashy look. After you've concealed, you can use a lighter shade of concealer to highlight the high planes of your face. Here I'm using the Milani concealer again, but in the shade 135, which is a lighter shade than my skin tone. And when I usually go lighter, I go about two shades lighter than my skin tone. Applying lighter shades in the high points will attract more light in those areas, giving a more structured look to your face. Using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder, I'm going to lightly set my face to prevent any of the products from settling in the fine lines and creasing.
and then to lock the base makeup to prevent it from moving i'm going to be using a setting spray this is the benefit professional super setter i'm going to wait for it to completely dry before i move to my eye makeup starting with the brows i'm going to be using the precisely my brow brow pencil by benefit cosmetics in the shade 4.5 as always, I'm just going to be filling in the sparse areas to keep my brows looking as natural as possible. Today's eye makeup is going to be super easy, super sultry and is especially helpful if you have hooded eyes because we'll be doing a smoky liner as opposed to a regular liner which sometimes can interfere with your hood and look distorted. I'm going to use some sticky tape in the outer corner to get those sharp edges. I'm going to stick it in the back of my hands a couple of times to remove that extra stickiness so it's not too harsh on the skin. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Kajal which is basically a black eye pencil. I'm just using it in the outer corner, just scribbling it. It doesn't have to be perfect or neat. And then I'm going to use my finger to diffuse it out. To lightly set this, I'm going to dip into Antique Silver from the Bare Minerals Treasured Palette with the E28 brush from Rose and Ben Beauty. I'm going to lightly set this by dabbing over it. And then I'm going to be using the Master Kajal once again to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line. I'm using the sticky tape in the outer corner as a stencil as well as my lash line as a stencil. And then using a small angled brush, I'm going to smudge this to get that smoky effect. I'm going to take off the tape and use a little bit of concealer to clean up underneath. And then I'm going to be using the Master Kajal in my lower waterline as well as lash line just in the outer half, later smoking it out with a small angled brush. I feel like New Year's Eve glam should have a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to be using Side to Side, which is my favorite fine glitter from the Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop. I'm going to apply it dry with my finger right in the center of the lid. Then using Moonstone, I'm going to highlight my brow bones and inner corners. It's time to finish up, so I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. This is the Pillow Talk Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Good Lashes in Infinite One. Of course, you can always stop at mascara if you're not comfortable with lashes, but I want to give you both options. I'm going to finish up this eye look with a coat of mascara to my lower lashes. And here's the completed look. Super easy, super sultry. Looks beautiful with that sparkle right in the center and gets done so quick. It's time to finish the rest of the face to reveal the completed look. I'm going to start with the bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm going to be using the bronzer to warm up my face. And then from the House Labs Head Rush Palette, I'm going to first use the blush. Then right above it, I'm going to add a little bit of glow with the highlighter. For lipstick, I first started with the City Beauty City Lips in Pink Taupe. This is a matte lipstick. And then I went over it with this glossy lip again from City Lips in Crimson. This is a plumping lip gloss, so you do feel the tingle as soon as you apply it, but it's very subtle. At the same time, you know that your lips are getting plumped. And here is the completed look. I love this look. I find it so classy, but I'd love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments section, would you wear it? And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you'd like to watch more videos like these. And do check out the description box for all the products that I use today, along with my social media links in case you plan to follow me there. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.